What is going on, great people? You're tuned into the Tactical Skill and Air Defense. It is your favorite gun owner checking in, Jay Skilly. May God bless each and every one of you. Continue to take care of one another and get to know the gun laws in your state and surrounding states when traveling. Man, I would like y'all to shoot that subscribe button and also shoot that like button and also leave a comment down in the comment section, man. Appreciate every single one of y'all. I don't have my my light, my ring light, I mean my, uh, my studio light in here, so we just gonna go off this light right here. Um, but we're going to get into this young man right here. He used to be alert zone. I believe he may not or may still have that page, but he may he created a new page once he lost that page. It's the alert, the alert zone TV. All one word, spelled like it said. Um, definitely go check this brother out. Um, the Uncle Wizard, as he calls himself here on YouTube. So go show him some love. And we're gonna hop to the tabletop, y'all. Yeah. Uh, it comes with two mags. It comes with its own holster that you can make inner or outer. It comes outer, but you can turn it around and make it where you put it in and inner. It does uh, have an optic cut. Uh, you don't co witness with this, which is fine, but it's optic cut. And the vortex pipe is what I'm gonna put on here once I put the optic on it. This one, the SFX, was the only cannon that I've fired so far that I ever had an issue. If you guys know I did the promo for Gun Freak, volume three, shout out to the president of Gun Freak Nation and all the members. That was the very first time I fired this gun. And because I got the first batch, everybody said within the first hundred rounds, he was gonna why you want to go pro this on the last day? Alright, so. Just make sure I kind of keep my hand out the camera. Alright, y'all. So. Alright, y'all. So. Alright, y'all. So. Alright. Alright. Oh, man. Y'all see the cup? I wish we're been at Stillers. Man, I hope we do get, um, I think Justin Field would be a, a great fit. I don't know why they went on to pick up Testavert. Uh, he was garbage anyway. I don't know why they picked him up, but maybe management was losing their god dang on mine in uh, Pittsburgh. But I hope we do get Fields if we can. I think he'll be a good, a good fit with the Stillers, but we'll see. We'll see how that go. But, um, I'm excited, man. I got a new product that I, uh, okay. I got a new project. Um, no, no, not a new project. Um, what am I doing? I bought a new product. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, they came from Go Gun USA. Let me, uh, let me cover my dang on address. Go Gun USA. Um, it's an actual gas pedal, y'all. Um, everybody say this particular gun is very snappy. Everybody know I love this gun. I have two of them. One optic ready, one not optic ready. One is black and the other one is tan. So I am in love with the gun. A lot of people are not. But, um, but as you can see, that is the old takedown lever. Very, no tools needed to install it. Very easy to go on. Just pull the pin out. Just like I said, you just pull, just pull the takedown pin out. Just take the old takedown pin out, as you can see. And the unboxing, because I already, once I got it, I've been had it for about a week, two weeks. I threw it right on the gun. Um, so it tells you how to hold it. You don't push down on it. You push forward with it. And go from there. It leaves you a manual with it. It is the Go Gun USA gas pedal for the Hellcat, y'all. I know a lot of y'all don't like this gun, but your boy's in love with it. Uh, I am looking within the next two weeks to grab the Hellcat Pro. Uh, the Hellcat Pro and the Hellcat will be my only two 
uh, EDCs. Um, yeah, unless I find something else. If I decide to go with the 365, I already got a 320. I would just rotate the 320 and the 365. Uh, I am thinking about picking up a 365 just to pick it up. The XL edition, but we'll see when that happens. But um, yeah, so um, I do got the Glock 19. If I was, I might pick up the 43X if I decide I wanted to switch out the Glock. So a lot of things going on that I'm thinking about doing. But for right now, when I get my Hellcat Pro, my Hellcat and my Hellcat Pro will be my permanent EVCs. No switching up. Um, I got the Glock, so that's my competition. A lot of people are like, why you do that? Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go with the Glock. 19 and the Glock 34 is my comp competition guns. Uh, like I said, the Hellcats will be my EDCs. Um, and then a Glock 29. Every once so often, the 10 mil I rotate. That'll be like a 10%. Versus the other two will be like 45% Hellcat and Hellcat Pro. But um, my iPad, my iPod. All that good stuff from all my iPods and all that good stuff. My knife, my defensive knife. This is not a cut, and I have a mini multi tool that I use um, in this particular one. Of course, my wallet, and then my rat's tourniquet. As y'all can see, this is the only thing I keep on me these three items and then also my phone I keep this in my book bag it's a part of my iPad and all that good all my entertainment stuff speaker all that goes in that's my entertainment bag but y'all know what it is when I carry the Hellcat I go with this bag I only got very comfortable with this bag my extra mag my light my pen in the pouch I have my most small as I told you, very, very small multi-tool. I don't need a big knife to cut no, folding knife to cut no no envelope. Uh, you got a battery, a AAA battery for my light. You got some lip, block, lip balm, and then you got a lighter. And that's all that's in here. So I don't keep this stuff on me in a, in a pack that I usually have in my pocket. When I'm carrying this, I put it all in a side pack. Uh... Now I did have to heat the, I did have to heat the um, what's the name up a little bit in order for it to come in and out. So as you can see, nothing in the chamber. I ain't gonna flag myself, but nothing, nothing at all. So remember, nothing in the chamber. That's what we talking about right there, y'all. Look how the baby look with that pedal on it. Very minimalistic, not a big pedal. Just enough to get that thumb on there and push forward. So I'm, I'm really interested in see if this is going to really control that recoil. Uh, I, I can't wait to shoot it, man. I, I can't wait to put some round down range with the new pedal on it. Uh, it does just like the regular... Um, slide lock you pull it back flip it up and you able to still take the slide off like i said it ain't nothing but taking the slide off wiggling it out pulling the old one out putting the new pedal in so y'all i'm very excited about this pedal man i think it's gonna make a difference i haven't seen anybody put a pedal on their hellcat I seen a lot of people put them on this particular one. It can go on the Hellcat and the Hellcat Pro. I haven't seen the video with nobody putting it on the Hellcat. So I seen them two or three, four, five times somebody putting it on the Hellcat Pro. So I'm excited about it. Uh it is part of the EVC now. You know, make make this baby look very, very good, y'all. So I don't think I'm gonna put it on the Hellcat Pro. It's big enough. I don't think I'm gonna need a. I don't think I'm gonna need a gas pedal for the Pro. So the Pro is just gonna be the regular takedown level. This was gonna have the level, um, the gas pedal on it, cause I want to see how it performs. See if it brings down some of that that uh, recoil that everybody complains about. So, but like I said, the recoil 
doesn't bother me. It's been my EDC probably for a year, year and a half now. Um, I, every time I go to range, I pull it out. I I practice with it, so I done got kind of used to recoil. But I just want to see what's gonna happen with this pedal on there, man. The pedal make, like I said, very, 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 very minimalistic. Not a big stupid piece on the side of your gun. This is a small platform. So I'm kind of excited that they didn't go overboard with the pedal. They kind of kept it very, very minimalistic. Like I said, I just had to heat my holster up a little bit just to make sure it can go in and out. But as you can see, it's not that. You know, that, that that's not that bad. It doesn't protrude too bad. So, y'all, we're going to see. I'm excited about this product. Like I said, this is my second or third purchase I did um, this year. So, man, I'm excited. Y'all, we're going to see what this Hellcat do with the new, uh, as they say, with the new shoes on it. You know, got the new shoe on it. We're going to see what that shoe do. But, man, I love the design of it. Great design, man. I'm glad that people are actually, you know, you know, I put my, you know, you push forward. You don't push down. You got to push forward. Hopefully it recorded, man. I'm excited, y'all. I love my Hellcat. A lot of people don't like that. You know, they didn't give, uh, sold them or, you know, don't carry them. But it's not, like I said, it's not a bad price. It wasn't, it's not a bad gun. It's like anything else. Any micro compact, because of the length of the barrel, it is going to have some recoil. I'm just tired of everybody talking about, well, the, 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 the 365 don't have no recoil. Come on now. Bending guns, the shorter the barrel, the more the recoil. But I'm I'm excited about this 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 gas pedal. I want to see what it's gonna do, man. So y'all, pretty soon I'll be getting to the range. Pretty soon you'll be seeing me fire my Hellcat, which is my EDC. When I get my Hellcat Pro, I gotta order the plate for it so I can put my TR. I'm gonna take my I am going to take my my furniture off my PSA dagger because that's not going to lo no longer going to be uh, part of my EDC. Uh, I'm gonna replace that with the Hellcat Pro. That way I'm familiar. Hey, both guns, one just smaller than the other one. One holds 15. This one I have two two 14 rounders and a 13 rounder for it. So hey, but. You can get 17 and 15 round mags for the Hellcat Pro. So I'm excited about that platform. It's a little bit smaller than the Glock 19, not about much, but it is a little bit smaller. So I'm excited about getting it. I'm excited about carrying it because I, I've been excited about my Hellcat. I'm very excited about the Hellcat Pro, which I plan to get within the next two to three weeks, man. I'm excited about it. So, man, y'all be safe. Take care of one another, man. It is your favorite gun on the checking out, Jay Skilly. I forgot to check in. It is your favorite gun on the checking in, but also now I am checking out, y'all. Be safe. Uh, protect one another, man. And uh, let's show that all gun owners are not bad gun owners. Um, we do have some irresponsible gun owners, but man, it's more responsible gun owners than it is irresponsible gun owners. Um, parents keep your guns out the hands of your children unless they're around you or unless they are at the gun range in a controlled environment um, I take my son all the time to the gun range he loves it that's our thing I try to do it once a month with him that's our thing we go shoot uh, and he loves it so y'all be safe man peace